Hey viewers, and in today's video, you will learn web design for a law firm. Welcome to the Ready Designer One channel. So the fictional client is Wexler and McGill, and this is from the series from Netflix, Better Call Saul. And the mission is to represent the little guy. And these clients are pro bono clients. That means these clients have a low income. And the goal of the site is to either to get them to make a phone call or to book a consultation. This article from outcrowd.io, and this is a very good article that I always share with my clients because it's impossible to please everyone. We're not designing for the client, we're designing for their target audience. So in this case, we are picking millennials and they have specific things that they like, such as creative, trendy design, uniqueness and minimalism. So the next thing to do is to start gathering some inspiration and you can look at the competition. That is one way. If the client knows their competition, they can share this. If they have brands that they think that their clients like, they can also share those. But one example that I like to use is godly.website. And there are many resources out there. But for example, I would just go to look in the directory. And here I could search for law. They don't have law, so legal. And here's one example. So here you can see it's a very clean and it has a, a grid layout. Very clean and they're mixing a serif font with a sans serif font. So this is pretty nice. It's just very nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the live site. I'm going to take a screenshot of this because we can use this as a reference and inspiration when we start designing. And this is an extension called full screen capture and allow. Okay, so I'm actually going to say that to the desktop. Great. So that's just one example and you can spend time researching and your client can hopefully share some inspiration. Now the next inspiration is actually from Webflow. What we are going to do is actually look up law. And they have some really good examples. And let's just say we go to start opening a new tab. And you can see the different examples. But what I like to do is actually preview in the browser and actually look at the content because the content is going to be absolutely key. So you can see here they got you can phone a free consultation. So there'll be no risk. And they're specific in the area as well. So I think that's pretty good. Free consultation is the main CTA. You can see the, see the different type of practice areas. They have about us request a free review today. So that's pretty good. They have, have case results as well. I'm going to take a snapshot of that one. So here is another one. They got practice areas, case results, contact us. They're spe being specific about the area again. They can show off all their awards. Some pictures of the desk. I think is nice practice areas get a free quote with a phone number as well I think that's pretty cool so our clients so here they got testimonials which I think is very very good as well because you need social proof why would a prospective client trust you so testimonials is also is always very good so I'm gonna very quickly take a screenshot of this Another inspiration, which is not always looking at the competition, but thinking about the audience who are millennials, they do like it minimal, trendy, a lot of white space. We're going to go with the grid layout. You can see here, this is just, it's quite text heavy, but they're using really organized grid. We can think of the 12 column grid, big type as well. It's really simple and clean. So I think this might be a nice inspiration to use. So I'm going to also take a screenshot of this. 
serif font combined with a sans serif and that is to hopefully show the experience because the the serif fonts are more older style and these are the more clean to apply to the um, to appeal to the millennials and a bit more trend so we're going to go for a dm serif and a dm sans so keep an eye out for these three i'm just going to start bringing in all the inspiration i'm going to the desktop and i'm just going to get the screenshots that we took so hit the minus key to zoom out and what i'm going to do is actually just put this into an auto layout so shift a with a cap of 100. so we can very quickly analyze what we've done command dot to remove all the sidebars so keep it really clean and what we're again going to show is i'm going for this really clean big typography uh, layout and we can see the content on Webflow templates, they're looking at a specific location, which I think is great. They have practice areas, the different services, get a free quote. They got some uh, case studies, results. They even have testimonials, which I think is great. So testimony is gonna be quite an important thing. I'm wondering if that could be a lot higher as well, um, just for social proof. And again, to be a bit different from the current templates. And this was inspiration from godly.website where it's very clean. They also don't have testimonies at the top, but we are representing the little guy. And here again, they have the serif font for the heading and the sans serif for the body text. So I think we can go along that style. So here we can just label this inspiration. And again, this is something your client can have a look at. They can leave comments, they can, um, they can also share their inspiration, but now we're at the point where we are aligning the client with a specific target audience. You can't design for everyone. It has to be very specific, especially if it's a startup. Hitting the F key, and we're gonna go with, just to say, Pro 14. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a bit organized and create a grid. And the grid we're gonna do is gonna be the 12 column grid with a gutter of 40 and a margin on either side of 80. And we are actually gonna make this into a style, create style. Okay, great. In terms of color, we are just gonna keep it very simple, black and white. And to keep it very simple, we're gonna go Wexler and McGill. And the font we're going to use is DM Serif Display. This is for things like headings. And how big should we go? So I think 24 is pretty good. Do we want it to be bigger? I think 24 is generous. And just thinking about the brand since we're here, you've got the W and the M. Let's just see how that looks a bit bigger. And again, we're trying to use the eight point grid, multiples of eight. Okay, so we got the brand, very quick and easy. And now we have to think of the nav links. So I'm just gonna say home, but we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna use the DM sans, and we're gonna go down to, let's say 18. We're not gonna make it too small. And what else do we want? We want, to say about we want case studies now just to check out the other types of content that are quite typical practice areas okay so practice areas is good yep practice areas do you want to uppercase these okay and then what we also want is we just want a phone number right 
so I'm just picking out a very random number and we're gonna have a CTA and that is a free consultation so that is basically our nav but what we're gonna do is make this into a button so we're gonna fill that we're gonna go we're gonna go dark as for the text I hit enter to go into that layer I'm just gonna say white but this we can be a bit more stronger so medium and in terms of the spacing I'm gonna say 12 24 12 24 okay so it's nice and clean um, and then we're gonna be a bit generous with border radius so I say 4 and I think we have our basic nav so what we're gonna do just to show the gradual process we're gonna duplicate so select or command D we are gonna see how we can build this with auto layout so we're gonna get all of these we're going to combine them, shift A, we're going to vertically align and then spacing we are going to say 40. These two we're also going to combine, shift A, we're going to say vertically align with a spacing of 40. So now we can combine these two, shift A we are gonna say space between vertically align and now we're going to try and align it with the layout so I'm just gonna cut paste it in and we are going to start giving this the same width so it's 15 12 here we go 15 12 Bring that down. Ooh. Bit of an itchy nose today. So yeah, 15, 12. And now we can start playing around with the spacing. So we're gonna go 80. We're gonna go 40 on top, 80 and 40 on the bottom. The left and the top. So now we can see a line. The only thing's not aligning are these so we want to start aligning to the grid so what we can do is we can start thinking about widths so here I'm gonna just start aligning it so that is a 192 okay so here I made this I give it a bit more space now it starts from that grid this doesn't have to necessarily align with the grid, but it has a spacing of 40. So now what I do, I just quickly hide the grid. You can see there, it's very clean. Bring that back. You can do a lot of different things with this nav. So we can create a quick component, Command D, Command Alt K. And that could be your nav. Just delete that, Command D, cut it bring it in here and you don't want to miss the next video because we are going to design more sections such as the hero section so hit the notification bell subscribe and I'll see you in the next video